click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends i welcome you all to the subject digital image processing this video is from chapter number 2 that is digital image fundamentals up till now in this chapter we have seen the topics like structure of the human eye along with the image formation into the human eye with brightness adaptation and discrimination so these three topics actually forms the elements of the human visual perception followed by the topic light and electromagnetic spectrum so just now into the previous video we have seen the role of light and the entire electromagnetic spectrum into the imaging system now let us see how actually the sensors are the sensor types which sense the data and form the image that we have to finally convert to the uh, digital form by the use of sampling and quantization that we are going to see into the further videos so let us start with image sensing and acquisition so let us begin with the topic image sensing and acquisition from image digital uh, digital image fundamentals so it is a part of digital image processing and the very first point here we have most of the images in which we are interested are generated by the combination of illumination source and the reflection or absorption of energy from that source by the elements of the scene being object so the scene that is being imaged so it they are actually the objects into the image so they either have reflection or absorption of energy that is uh, incident because of the illumination here so the illumination may originate from the source of electromagnetic energy the examples can be the radar the infrared or the x ray system or other than that we can have the ultrasound or even the con computer generated illumination patterns that we have termed to be the synthetic images into the earlier chapter so depending on to the nature of the source illumination energy is reflected from or transmitted through the objects into the scenario here so for image acquisition using a single sensor we have this diagram so we have this single sensor visible to us so the sensing material we have shown the energy is being incident here through the filter the single sensing material into the single sensor is actually powered in the housing is provided and the voltage waveform is generated because of the incident of this particular energy so very common example is of photodiode of this particular sensor type the use of the filter in front of the sensor actually improves the selectivity the selectivity of the incident energy is improved by using this particular filter as shown into this diagram now in order to generate a two dimensional image using a single sensor there has to be a relative displacement or in another words we can say there has to be a motion because the single sensor is there and it has to sense the entire scenario so the displacements or the motion into the x and y direction has to be carried out by this particular sensor so that the area to be image is to be covered here so now for the purpose of motion into the x and y dimensions this system can be taken into consideration so whatever the earlier diagram we have seen this is actually the single sensor mounted here and through this particular rod this sensor can have the displacement from the left end to the right end along with the film where actually the image is supposed to be the imposed one will be having uh, mounted onto such a rod and that rod is having the rotation in this fashion so the rotation of this bigger rod and the rotation of the sensor gives us the displacement into the x and y dimensions we can say so that a two dimensional image can be pictureized so here this rod is having a linear motion one image line out per increment of rotation and full linear displacement of sensor from left to right can be done here to have image formed with the use of single sensor here now after the single sensor if you have a sensor strip so we can say image acquisition using single uh, using sensor strips so this image can be given 
so this one part can be thought of as a single sensor so as like here we have multiple sensors n number of sensors forming a sensor strip here the geometry that is used much more frequently than a single sensor consists of inline arrangement of sensors in the form of sensor strips that has been shown here so the fashion is linear to arrange the sensors here the strip provides the imaging elements in only one direction so still the motion is required so in the previous case the motion into the both directions of x and y displacement was required here the motion will be required into the only one direction so the motion perpendicular to the strip provides imaging into the another direction so this is one directional imaging and another direction perpendicular to this one shall be provided by the motion of this particular strip so the sensor strips mounted in a ring configuration used into the medical equipments or into the industrial imaging equipments to obtain the cross sectional images of the 3d objects the example we have seen that is mri images or the ct scan images computerized tomography are actually the slice images that can be obtained by having such type of arrangements so that we can see into the next diagram in this diagram here whatever the first uh, motion we have talked about this is the linear or the inline arrangement of the sensors so this is the sensor strip and this has linear motion into the perpendicular direction to this particular sensor strip here so one image line per out per increment of linear motion is shown here and this is the imaged area that has been shaded here now another system is shown here uh, this is the circular arrangement here for example this is the medical equipment having the x-ray so x-ray source is here and the linear motion of the object is done through the axis of this particular central one so this is the three-dimensional object and the slices can be imaged here the slices can be shown here the cross-sectional images of the 3d object so the image can be reconstructed by using these 3d objects here so thus we have seen the image acquisition using a single sensor and a strip of sensor now the last one is the image acquisition using sensor arrays so the diagram here shows you the sensor arrays so the arrangement is not only into one line direction but in both the direction that is x and y dimensions we can say hence there is no question of motion so here figure shows the individual sensors arranged in the form of two dimensional array this is also the predominant arrangement found in to the digital cameras nowadays the typical sensor of these cameras is actually a charged coupled device array abbreviated as ccd array here the motion obviously is not necessary because both the dimensions are covered by this particular array so summarizing image acquisition so image acquisition using single sensor we can uh, we have seen it requires motion into both the di dimensions x and y image acquisition using sensor strip we have seen it also requires to have motion of the uh, sensor in one direction to have the two dimensional image to be formed and finally we have seen image acquisition using sensor arrays which does not require any kind of motion to image the uh, scenario so in the next lecture we are going to see one more topic from this chapter digital image fundamentals and the topic is titled a simple image formation model that is based on the sensor types just now we have seen into this particular video so i hope you have understanding the digital image fundamentals that are very much essential to begin with digital image processing subject so for getting more topics onto this subject digital image processing you can subscribe to ek channel thank you